are you, Plug Shagaleg? It's time for school. Sick. You're not even dressed. All right, then. I hear you. Where's my socks? Where's my white project? They're wet. Your lunch. Tuck shop. And you can tell that history teacher that... Fruit. Who'll swipe? Wasn't me. Don't look at me. Where's your brother Ray? Gonna get a kiss. Yeah, what's that shaving stuff? Laundry soap. Go home, Sam. See you, mate. Come on, Sid. We're going to be late. Come on, Sid. Come on, Sid. Mr. Mackenzie? Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm Parker, and this must be your lucky day. I don't want it, I don't need it, and I've already got it. So you can sell it to someone else, can't you? No, 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 no. I'm not selling. You are. Oh, right. Well, what can I do for you? I've got everything from go to woe around here. No, no, I'll show you. From R.Q. Parker and Associates, just uh, read the bottom line. I'm reading. Just round figures, actually. For what? For this, the scrapyard. My master wishes to buy, make you rich. Well, very comfortable. No. Ah, but I had it valued at a 12%. No. Place is crumbling. Damp rot there. Mm, rain's been coming in. No, I said. No. Not a good place to bring up children, really. Welfare could be interesting. You see that door? See this? <laughs> what should I tell the master? Tell him nothing. Tell him go to blazes. All right, Sam, I'm coming. Steady on, you bust the boil. Yeah, mind out, son. Mind your uniform. Uh, you'll be right. Up we go. You need a hoist. <laughs> need something, mate. Huh? <laughs> And all things considered, it's been a good day, Lord. Except for one or two small. Oh, we'll forget about that. We just want to thank you, Lord, for the food that's set in front of us. Amen. 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 Well, come on, you lot. Let's hoe into it. Then what happened? There I saw the spook. It was a man. Sam inside? Yes, sir. How's the fit? Good fella. Saw the headless horror, eh? Hairless, anyway. What a bit thin on top. It's a shame. He looks like Genghis Khan. Hey, that's him. 
He tried to buy us out. Well, not him, he's just fishing. There's someone called the master. Master. Thank you. to the electric light. Dad. They're in a good place, Dee. And we're together. Always will be. Nothing changes that. Anyway, you remember, when things ain't going easy, you got a ta ra ra and Boom, Sir Daisy. Sir Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the architectural rendering. And the site plan? All property have been acquired? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In the back. What's this? Oh, that, uh... Oh, that's just a junkyard. Oh, yeah, we'll soon have that. <laughs> Bit of pressure, he'll <laughs> cave in. <laughs> what kind of pressure? Oh, legal. Money pressure. No. Make offer. Make it fair. That's all. The quality of mercy is not stained. Strained. It drops down. Oh, it droppeth. Drop? It's not even English. Do honour to our name, thank you. Yes, Grandfather. of mercy. Oh, cry! Look! There you go, mate. How do you like that? How are we supposed to get to school? Why don't we tell Grandpa? Through the Mason's place. Come, factory's closed. Well, oh, Kenny's kayak. Mm. They've got German Shepherd. Okay, one hour through the park. All these trees. I thought you would like this park. I like Winter Park in Tokyo. There are people, things to do. But very crowded. I had friends there. All my friends. Mike. Benke, stop the car. Okay. 
grandfather let me have a horse? A war horse? Perhaps when you are a samurai. It took me 13 years. What's wrong with him? He wants a horse. Deirdre. Uh, and you be? My name is Mikyu. That horse, do you own him? Sam? He's family. He's part Clydesdale. Do you know what that is? No. How much do you want for him? How much? Yes. It'd be very fair. The money would be good. How much would you ask? Get going, Sam. <laughs> He's not for sale. Buy me a house, will they? <laughs> buy this house? That's what I think. We live here. I've lived here 60 blooming years. Grandpa. The time I ever left the place was to go and... You bet I did. Don't think about the war. Two years of blooming prisoner of war. I wanted to buy Sam. Oh, did they? Well, the boy did. I think he took a fancy. Good looking, was he? Well, he smiled at me. <laughs> he was nice. Why got Tasket the Fred to each and the Egon of Benkyo and Monaro? We speak English. Okay. Okay. I find the climate very pleasant here. Yes, grandfather. And the people. Going easy? Easy going there. Huh? You have done well in this country, Mikio. Thank you. You should be rewarded. Jija. Do you like her? Oh, yes, Grandfather. I only hope I'm worthy. Man alone. What will you call her? Toshiko. A girl you know? Toshiko Akiyoshi. She plays jazz in America. Some visitors, I think. Get rid of them. I'll handle him. Stop worrying. But suppose the master learns. Oh. We profit in his name. My dear man. I've done this many times. That junkyard's worth a fortune. We'll open up a salt water bars or a, a spa. They'll queue up from the Strathfair Royal. My savings are to me a fortune. Mm -hmm. Good investment. Never better. You'll be laughing. All right. 
That's it. No, no. That's it. <laughs> now look. No. Do everything. Money. Lots of it. Out. I urge you to reconsider. No. Now, you are being very, very stubborn. The gentleman wants to leave, Sam. Huh? <laughs> Come on, Sam. We got work to do. Bottles! Any old drink cans? Get up there. <laughs> well, sir, I think we've got that scrapyard in up. Well, perhaps I'm disturbing you. I mean, I'll just come back some other time. Mm. Lord. Just get down there, let me know what's happening. But get going. This crapper you have acquired. Well, I think we have. It had to be down with honor? Oh, absolutely. Leaned on. Gosh, because he wouldn't sell. Right, so it's maniacs from Strathfair Royal. Maybe. Could be. I don't know. We'll kill him. No, we won't. We'll take it on the chin. I've weathered worse than this. Oh, Grant. Yeah. Takes real brains, don't it? Like scrap out of a bloomin' scrapyard. Don't you worry. We'll knock it into shape. Time you won't let's get stuck into it. Where else has she gone? What am I to do with you? You're a fine horse, and I admire your spirits. But you're not strong enough to be a war horse. And a samurai needs a war horse. But if I wish enough and dream enough, well. Well, what happened to my? 
Mackenzie's. The scrapyard is restored. Oh, rubbish. That's impossible. Exactly as it was before. Well, we'll just have to strike again and then again. What is this? The sea slug. Ah. Oh. Those men cost money. Yeah, which reminds me. Come on. There are other ways. Yeah, possibly. More effective, cheaper. Could be right. Three of those, the big ones. Okay, we are waiting. We'll keep in touch. We're doing well. cheapest coin. The most precious things is royalty. Yes, Grandfather. Without a royalty, a man is ashes. I believe this. Sunlight has honor, royalty and courage, but not aggression. In the war, Pacific War, I learned this. Strange that. War should teach me peace. You'd covet such a horse when you have Toshko. No, sir. And who? Today would have a war horse. I know someone, grandfather. First, win your sword. Then you win the right to dream. Speak with you, please. Of course. Come in. Oh, yes, you are the little girl from. I'm Dee Mackenzie. Mackenzie from the scrapyard. Yes, please. It's a very nice garden. You flatter me. I can't understand how you can be so mean. And send those men down. Smash up things. When Grandpa is old and doesn't want to sell. You know, why should he? I beg you a pardon? Smash up things? To take his land. To build your big hotel. <laughs> but I don't want that land. Someone does. I'm sure you are quite mistaken. Take a look. Come and see. Mm, I don't go out much. It's your trouble. Oh. I'm sorry. That was rude. No, no. So tell me. What exactly is my troubles? Well, you're not old. You should get out more. Make new friends. 
can I count you as my friends? You'll have to square things with Grandpa first. Square things? Make peace. No more thugs and smashing up things. Mm. I will send my Mr. Parker then. No. No, no Mr. Parker. Because he's the one who... Well, I shouldn't make an unsupported allegation. I have to go now. I really must. Brought your playmates, did you? Now, now, steady on. Well, you can clear out. Before I break some heads. Mackenzie, my dear good man, we're here to help you. Yeah, I'll bet. In fact, I'd even be... Oh, my goodness, what happened to your youth? Your fellas did a real good job, didn't they? District vandals, that's your problem. I sympathize. You can tell your boss I'm not selling. It must be hard without the ute. Still, you've got the horse. Although I'm surprised you can afford to feed him. Yeah, what's this? Oh, this, this is your uh, feed bill from the produce store. We uh, have hundreds of them. We acquired them. You bought my IOUs. Only trying to help. They're mine. I'm paying installments. Yes, but now, instead of lots of little bills, you've got one big bill, $3,000. Well, you steady. My man is just outside. Oh, yes, uh, we've made application to the court. What's that mean? It means you have till Friday. You pay $3,000 or you're out, out there in the street. But we need a lawyer. I've spoken to Charlie Phillips. What's he say? <laughs> Is that all? Friday, and we're at it. We just can't give in, can we? <laughs> Why don't we sell the scrap? Hey, he's right, you know. Just one big clearance sale. Take weeks to get it ready, a week to advertise it. Well, we got three days. <laughs> Fidgety lately? Well, we need liquid assets. Something we can sell, like gold, precious metals. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like a buried treasure. <laughs> oh, go home, Sid. I am home. Yeah, hang on. Hang on a minute. There is a buried treasure. What to do with it? Treasure? Yeah, out there, in the yard. Where? Think, Grandpa, think. I'm thinking. You mean you hid it? Well, not exactly. I buried it, accidental like, under 20 years of scrap. This treasure, what's it look like? Sheets of lead. Be worth a fortune. There'd have to be 10 ton of it. But dumped here, 20 years ago, that's archaeology. It's hard yakka, girl. That's what it is. Hard yakka, digging it out. It's a good thing we've got Sam.
no luck, not a sign. I'm like cold and cold. Just nothing. Exhausted. Did you try the paddock? And the boatyard? Sam can't be gone. He never strays. You come home, mate. He knows where we live. Well, you better get going. Catch the bus, would you? I got work to do. Tons of it. The cops will help us find Sam. Don't trust yourself. <clears throat> That'll be the day. You wait till we get home. We'll find that treasure. Yeah, all right, all right. You promise? Yeah, I promise. I might even have a look for Sam myself. Kimi wa kakko ii na. Boku Toshiko mo suki da kedo. Oma mitai na kouyu gatchiri shite oma mireto. Hon wa. Ha. Did I? Oh, you're a terror, honestly. Where's that? Didn't come back. Could have, could have got run over by a bus or something. Oh, he couldn't have. We'd have heard. What about our treasure? Haven't found that either. But it's here. That lead's in there somewhere. Okay, let's get at it. Treasure, buried treasure. Oh, come on. In the scrapyard, somewhere underneath the scrap. Are you sure? Luck. Suppose he finds it. Well, he'd better not, otherwise you've lost your money. My honor is already lost. Oh, for heaven's sake. You'd better think of something or your money is down the drain. Hey. What's up, love? It's getting late. Sam will miss his apple. Hey, let's take a break, you blokes. We'll go and have a look for Sam. Eh? Oh, good idea. Tell him me. You hold the fort, love. You bet. Make us all a shepherd's pie. I believe a miracle has happened. Myth has become reality. Yes, Grandfather. He's so handsome. And improper. But... Who owned the horse? He, he strayed here. Who owns him? I'm not sure. You said you knew someone. I thought I did. For the third time, Michio. Who owns him? Very well. You have tried to think about it. I want answer in the morning. The treasure is mine. That's it. Tomorrow, horse and scrapyard, everything. Sam's the hat. You stole it. Look, you wait a minute. Look out! Help me, please. Stop running. Are we doing that in jail? Oh, yes. I can't do it. Pity. Sam would get 
knocked you out easy. Time. What about our horse? Ask my young master. Who? Mikio. Your horse was never stolen. He found his new home by himself. Oh, no. He never touched you? Threatened you? Not really, no. He was just looking for the treasure. Samson Strathfair House. Grandpa, they've got Sam. Not for long, they haven't. Yeah, hold it, hold it. But it's criminal. They're horse thieves. Maybe. There's a right and legal way of handling this. We'll do it in the morning. Okay, Ray? Yeah, okay. Come on, then. Crikey, you see? Sam is our horse. We own him. It's not stealing. It's a rescue. Like commandos? God, which one? Search me. Let's try over here.
this trouble. Come on, Sid. Oh, come on, knock it off. Put him back. He's ours. You know he's ours. Can you prove it? What are you like? A bunch of thieves? You busted up our scrapyard. You somehow nabbed our horse. Well, you don't own everything, mate. And there's no way you own Sam. So shove off before he walks right over you. Please don't take him. Please. Wake the whole house, why don't you? The house is woke. It's been woke half the blooming night. What are you fellas up to? Oh, we just went... Yeah, you know, we sort of Oh, just... right. Yeah. Well, that explains everything. I've got half a mind to belt the two of you. Well, you're too young. You're too blooming old. Look, all we did yeah. was just go down there... That's you know, enough. I... Both of you. You've just done in a week's pocket money. Wait! Hey. He's back. You got Sam back. Yeah. You little beauty! Well, yeah, but... The guy... I didn't get to keep in your pocket money too long, did I? Yeah, and I had him in a stable, Grandpa. And when he heard us coming... Yeah, hang on. Sit down here with me. The both of you. I want to hear all about this caper. What am I? Old and feeble-minded? No, Grandfather. Half-blind and deaf? The battle with all your jokes? No, Grandfather. You lied to me about the horse. You knew quite well who owns him. Don't sniggle. Well, Mikio, speak up! I am worthless, Grandfather. As a pebble on the sand. And deceitful, like Parker and the scrapyard. Yes, Grandfather. Go to school and send him in. Send Parker in. He wants Parker. He knows everything. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. Ah, I'm sorry. Did I keep you waiting? We were just discussing the kabuki. I'm rather keen on theater. I often go to the theater and... Well, uh, that is, I... Uh... <laughs> when I traveled to America, I learned many things. Oh, you would, yes, I'm sure. Mm. Straight sweeping talk was one of them. <laughs> yeah. Let us talk American. Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> Did you cross your position not to scrap me out? Bring them to their knees? Pardon? With facts? Smutting things? Well, did you? Uh, now, look here. Are you responsible? You ordered this in the name of Stress Fair Oil? My name, Mr. Parker, to which I give you license. Did you? Uh, this is quite outrageous. I wish to see your files, Mr. Parker. Every pieces of paperwork affecting Stress Fair Oil. This includes our correspondence, letter of agreement, Contract and subcontract. Well, you surely put me through it. You confessed? Don't be stupid. So we have lost. Oh, good grief, man. One more day, the scrapyard's ours, and legally. I hope so. I'll tell you this. Your master, he's past it. I'm way ahead of him. Oh. March in tomorrow morning, nine o'clock, and wham, we've got the scrapyard. I've been waiting, Benke. Forgive me, Master. Keen! Education, nothing like it. Someone's got a side. Yeah, we've had it. You sure that lives there, Grandpa? 
It might be a while ago, but I put it there, all right. Where? We've turned the whole place upside down. Uh, Cup of tea will start again. No, love. We've had it this time. Well, there's still, still the morning, till nine o'clock. So what are you going to do? Let them take it? Take the scrapyard? Grandpa. Court order, Sid. Don't have rights of access. Well, don't let them access. Sid. Well, you're always saying it. Can't get in. Can't move for junk. Don't let them in. Well, maybe we could make it a bit awkward for them. Eight thirty-one. Do you have to? They mightn't come. They'll come. Are we ready? Grandfather. Why aren't you at school? Because of honor, Grandfather. I owe a debt to the children of the scrapyard, and there is something I must tell you. Hey, so that's a merc in the truck. Let's go. Come on. Open up, port, port up. Right, fix him, I'll go around the back. Sorry for this. <laughs> I own this place enough. now. I own the lot. These people have been hurt enough. Shut up, stupid. I owe you more. I wish to serve you with my honor. Where is Spoken Ben Cave? Master. You've come to stick the knife in, have you? We have rights. Legal rights. I've used my name, my company's name. Oh, really? You use it for your own profit. Yeah, well, it's too late to change it now, old boy. That paper's written out and legal.
Please, I must apologize. I don't want your land, anybody, as well as this. If a debt are paid because I owe damages. Now you tell me. I'm afraid, my friends, we share an enemy. Well, Parker. <laughs> Perhaps you two should get together. Oh, well, is there always sign on the classics? It's a case of tar -ar -ar. And the books are daisy? Hey, what did you say? You said it. Oh, blow me down. It's you. And you. <laughs> oh, oh, Cookie. Oh. <laughs> Rise <That's> and mark. <laughs> you little old digger. <laughs> he saved my life. He saved mine. <laughs> you old <laughs> rascal. <laughs> boy. Remember when they lobbed that hand grenade? Remember when the last exploded? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then blame for Parker. Good, I'll tell the boys. <laughs> you still drink Aussie beer? <laughs> the master says I have to help. I want to help. Well, help yourself then. Find the treasure, your buried metal scrap. Could take till Christmas. I hope so. Uh oh. I was just, um, as my grandfather would say, by a pun. Passing by. <laughs> Glad you did. <laughs> you want to walk? No, no way. Yes, you do. Good on you, mate. Good on you, mate. 